You know, sometimes I come in here and the pot's so serious that I can't even start off with a joke. Like, I can't even start off jovial. I can't start off having fun and hey, Like, the energy's not there sometimes. And I think that we have to ensure that any serious moments were serious. I think it's super important that we're serious so that those around us can feel the gravity of our words. Because believe it or not, our words are heavy. Some heavier than others, some lighter than others, but all of our words have weight and they matter so much. So I think it's important to make sure that we're careful with our words. We're researched with our words. We're well read. So that the words we use, they're not dead weight. You know, because reading and research is fundamental. It's great to have an opinion. But it's even better to have your opinion backed in some fact, have your opinion back in a theory, a credible theory. To have your opinion, you know, recognized and taken seriously by those who agree with you and even some of those who disagree with you. That's important. And it should be important. But in the hot take society that we live in, the 24-hour news cycle, the let me get a tweet out, let me get a post out, let me do an emergency podcast society that we live in, we like to respond to things without doing our homework. We like to respond without doing the necessary reading prior to our response. And sometimes our initial responses are wrong because we haven't done the homework on the front end to make sure we know what it is that we're talking about and why we feel the way that we feel. I can't tell you how to feel. I can't tell you how something should make you feel. But I can tell you that if you go do your homework on this stimulus, whatever it may be, it may change how you feel when you have that information. It's very easy to be upset when somebody you care about gets locked up. It's very easy to be a parent who's ready to go up to a school when your kid gets in trouble and go off on the teacher. It's very easy to get mad at your friend's significant other for mistreating them or leaving them when you don't know the whole story. What if your loved one committed a crime? Oh, well, lock them up. What if your child instigated an altercation? Oh, wow, you deserve to be in trouble. What if your friend was ignoring his or her loved one, cheated on his or her loved one, so he or she got left? Oh, wow. Research, more information, now shapes your feelings. Because we all have feelings, but you know what? Not everybody has the facts. And the more and more facts that we gather, the hope is that the closer and closer our feelings get to one another. But what do I know? I'm just a bee. Baby, and I'm back. I love you, baby.